all over the world and in Ghana, wheelbarrows and trucks are a common means of transporting goods from one location to the other. While the truck is locally fabricated, the wheelbarrow is imported. However, one Ghanaian is working towards putting a stop to the importations of wheelbarrows into the country by embarking on the production of wheelbarrows locally. And his name is Josephat Oklu. Well, after having a close look at the market, we see that there are a lot of wheelbarrows in the market, but when you compare it to how we work in our country here in Ghana, you see that there is a need of stronger wheelbarrow. So we then saw the need of bringing out this product to meet um, the demand here. Mr. Oklu, who is the owner of Josak Metals and Constructions located around Mataheko in Accra, said he came up with the idea to curb the huge importations of wheelbarrows into Ghana. We like a lot of outside products. We import a lot of wheelbarrows into the country. And I study it very well and see that, no, we can bring out something locally here that can be more stronger. So, what makes the locally produced wheelbarrow stronger than the imported ones? Well, there are a lot of things that make it stronger. For instance, if you look at the types that we use. These are mutu ties different from the regular ties that the other wheelbarrows have. can see that we reinforce these ones. Uh, this is the, the reinforcement can, that we've done with a 12 mm rod. The edges are reinforced so that when you offload the concrete from it and it hits the ground, it cannot bend. Again, it has a lot of supports so that as you are using it, it can last for a very long time. To get a stronger whole barrel, Mr. Oklu makes use of a special types of metal sheets. We use the governor's sheet for it. And this governor's sheet lasts longer than the mild steel materials that are being used in some cases. He also used very thick pipes as handles for his wheelbarrow. So it is very strong. We use a very thick pipe for it. Talking about other challenges he had to overcome to get this far, he said. So one of the challenges that we faced from the beginning is that we initially said we wanted to be stronger than those in market. So when we brought it out to test the market, uh, the contractors also helped us by bringing out their suggestions to make some changes in it in the terms of the handle, in terms of the tie, how we can reinforce the area that carries the tie so that they don't wear out so quickly, we were able to solve all those problems. Now, if you look at the, the front side where we fix the tie, normally we have a problem of this one bending inside and it wipes off the plates. But in this case, we reinforce it so that it always holds it, no matter the load that has been given to it. So you see the reinforcement here, here, and here, and it makes pushing it and uh, offloading it very easy. I 
other challenges have to do with finance, to be able to get money to produce more. That's also another challenge. We need a very huge capital so as to produce at least, even if 1,000 or 2,000, we borrow. Interestingly, a lot of Ghanaians are already patronizing this made in Ghana whole barrels. The demand is very high. They use it, they saw the benefits compared to the other ones that they're using, and they normally ask for more. They come at times, some will need about 10, 20, and also those, in, those who are even not contractors. They can have it. I know some people who bought it from it and are using it over two years now because they are not using it for concrete works to be carrying things from or using it in their homes. That one lasts even more, longer. But the contractors can use it for a longer period, like we've already said. According to Joe, normal hoe barrows do not last long when used for concrete works, especially when they are not reinforced. But for his, the experience is different. It actually depends on the user, the one who is using it. But if he will use it cautiously, we, we, we give a guarantee of over a year or more. Yeah, which is quite different from those in town. The contractors know it very well. And so most of them gives the, uh, <laughs> the testifying that this one is more stronger. One of his major challenges is how to embark on mass production. That is where the government must come in. If we are ever ready to receive any assistance from the government, and the quantity that you've mentioned now is quite huge, and our strengths cannot produce that one without the help of the government. So we are ever ready to take any help from the government so that we can uh, make or do a mass production of it. Wondering how many whole barrels they produce in a week? We can produce about 10 for now in a week. Yeah, but when the huge capital comes and we increase hands, then we are looking at the demand there, where even if 50, 100 or more per week. Talking about increased hands, what is his current workforce? Uh, for now, we are having about only five people working for us in that angle. Oklu, who started off doing normal metal work, says he will still continue in that line. Nevertheless, his concentration is going to be more on producing his brand of whole barrels. The concentration is on the whole barrel because we want to encourage made in Ghana products and uh, we need stronger fill barrels in the system so we want to concentrate on that then we um, expand the production in the near future in the spirit of better Ghana his advice to Ghanaians is to patronize locally produced goods